going to be such a fun party. We have um, some incredible brands here with us today. So we have Pure Inventions, who's getting us started. And then we are going to be moving to Epicurin for our face mask, Save Me From for our hair mask. So by the end of this, we will be completely masked out and totally fabulous. So you guys got all of your items together. I know we just talked about that. So thank you so much for getting all of that. And uh, I want to just dive right in, basically let you know that you're going to be spending the next hour with us. And at the very end, we have a special surprise with David Minkin, who is a magician. I don't know if you, any of you guys have had Zoom magic, but that is what the end of this uh, little treat has in store for us. So um, I, I think we already full screened our Zooms. Uh, and then so you know, if anyone doesn't have any of these products yet, totally fine. Um, we're going to record this so that you can watch kind of the instructions later back. Too. So our very first up, like I tempted you with earlier, is our cocktail. So I'm a, would love to introduce Jonna here with Pure Inventions. She's been, you've been here since the very, very beginning, right? 2003? Yep. Amazing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with you, if you wouldn't mind walking us through exactly what Pure Inventions, what, what is this product that we got and how we're using it today? Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Jonna. As, um, I was just introduced. Um, been with um, my co-founders, Lynn and Lori, who are on the call. Say hi, girls. Hi, girls. <laughs> um, hi, guys. Uh, Pure, Pure Inventions is a wellness brand. Um, and Lynn and Lori's goal um, when they started their company was to help all of us hydrate in a healthy way. Um, so they developed an amazing brand called Pure Inventions. What Pure Inventions is, is a line of drops. We have drops for all kinds of things. These days, wellness is right out in front of everybody, um, which is why we picked our cranberry and elderberry. Um, it's really important always to be super hydrated, right? Um, but now more than ever, we need to help support our immune system. So we picked our cranberry and elderberry because there's two superfoods powerhouse antioxidants. Cranberry's always been a great antioxidant, and the elderberry is nature's medicine chest. So it's packed with wellness benefits in a dropper. We're going to make some really awesome hydrating beverages. I know everybody has a glass of water or with ice, maybe a citrus wedge. Um, but I just want to remind everybody, this little bottle, it's not over when the party is over here tonight. That bottle is going to make you 60 beverages hot, cold, or sparkling. It's going to hydrate you 60 times um, without any calories or sugar. That's something that we, we're concerned about too. The season's coming. It's supposed to get warm. It's freezing here in New Jersey, but it's supposed to get warm. So, um, so without any calories or sugar, we're in really good shape. Um, and I am missing something. I am missing my water. Hold one second. My apologies. I had my, my uh, set all done, but I didn't want to melt my ice. So I'm going to start off with making a delicious Pure Inventions Cranberry and Elderberry just in cold water with some ice. If you have your liquor handy, you might want to keep it near here because I'm going to put a top on here. And I'm going to shake it up as a mocktail. But this is how you use it. So take your dropper before you do, shake it up a little bit. Take your bottle of Pure Inventions Cranberry, unscrew the top, and depress that bulb on top. You're going to pull out a dropper full. This is high-powered antioxidants going into your water. You're making the most delicious hydrating beverage with incredible wellness benefits. I love to add a little squeeze of citrus, so let me do that now. And then the last thing you need to do here is just stir it. And that's it. Now, if you're like a lot of us at the end of the day or in the middle of the day for some, and you want to add some alcohol to your water and your cranberry and elderberry, you can do that. Add an extra squirt of cranberry to help complement your spirit. This is when you'd be pouring in your shots, shot, shot. And I have this really cute top to my mason jar and it turns my mason jar into a shaker. Hold on, I'm gonna make a little noise. So I have this beautiful mocktail for me. I'm going to just pour it into this ice-filled glass, just like this. Super, super simple to do, right? Really easy, absolutely delicious, made in just seconds. 
So you have a wellness mocktail to enjoy during your spa uh, party tonight, your masquerade. But what if you came here with sparkling water? I'm going to show you how pretty your drink is going to look. Watch this. I'm going to pour some sparkling water in here. Then this is where it gets really pretty. Just put a dropper full of your cranberry elderberry drops in your sparkling water. You just need one, but sometimes it's, I'm a two dropper girl. And then you just stir it, watch this. It makes this beautiful fuzzy beverage. You could squeeze in a lime, make it super fancy. And there you go. So you have Pure Inventions as a mocktail, Pure Inventions as a cocktail, and Pure Inventions as a sparkler. I'm going to actually create a nice hot beverage because I am so cold. And I'm going to join you for the rest of the party with a hot Pure Inventions cranberry and elderberry. So you can keep yourself hydrated all day long in any temperature of water as often as you want. So cheers to your wellness and have a great time at the party. All right, everyone, let me see your cocktails, but don't hold it over your computer, but like, let's, let's check it out. I did, Donna put too much vodka in mine initially and had to put another dropper in there to balance that out. <laughs> yeah. Come on, thumb, thumbs up if it's uh, tasting delicious. I see in the chat right now. Darlene is saying that it's going to be her pool drink of choice this summer and wants to know what other flavors uh, you recommend. We have um, another super fruit extract. It's our blueberry and white tea. Um, blueberries are great for our brain. <sighs> Who doesn't need it? Some help these days, especially with our clarity, right? So we have a beautiful taste of blueberry with the antioxidants of white tea also. And then we have our green tea formulation. So when you talk about the immune system and your wellness, you always want to think about antioxidants. Green tea is an amazing place to grab those antioxidants. And we've done it without any sugar or calories. So when you ever see a bottle of Pure Inventions, all you need to do is add it to water. Our green tea is super concentrated. So you've got really, really great benefits of green tea without any caffeine. So you can even have that green tea hot, maybe in a cozy mug before dinner. If you have trouble going to sleep, we have our night formula. I call that my magic carpet ride. Um, it really, you know, these days that I need some help quieting my brain and relaxing my body. And Pure Inventions Night Formula is genius. Amazing uh, formulation, um, delicious. I like it in a hot mug. Um, about a half hour before bedtime and I am sleeping peacefully. And one last thing I want to talk to you guys about is our two things, actually, because I always have more. Um, but we have our tranquility. So if anyone is stressed, I don't know what that word is, um, but if anyone's feeling any stress or anxiety, we have something called tranquility. And it's chamomile and passion flower, and it's delicious. It's another wellness formula to help us with stress. You know, I learned that stress can make us sick right? Stress kills all these healthy cells and makes us really sick. So keep yourself hydrated, enjoy your tranquility, hot or cold, sparkling, yummy. And then don't forget our coconut water because it's amazing. Coconut, actually, it's funny that you say that is the one that I have been using for like five or six years. And I'm not a, I'm admitting this out loud, but I'm not a huge water drinker. So, so, so I actually have, <laughs> I feel like I'm addicted to the Pure Inventions coconut one because then I'll actually drink my normal intake for the day. Um, but you got another question. What is the most popular Pure Invention uh, drop? Our most popular drop is our coconut water. And it is a rock star. Uh, it's created um, free of calories and sugar, as I mentioned before, but it is so yummy coconut. You just can't help but drink over and over and over again. That formula is going to give you the electrolytes that you're looking for to help balance us out um, but I just use it all day because it's just delicious. And by the way, everything plays with each other. So you can blend things together. Peach green tea with coconut water. You have a whole new flavor. It's limitless. And is there, Julie's wanting to know if you can use too much. Is it possible to put too much into your, or is it just based on your preference? 
You know what? When you're talking about our uh, general products like green teas and cranberry and our coconut water, you're really limited by your palate. Um, you don't need a lot to get a, a, a good wellness benefit. Like I told you, there's 60 beverages in this one bottle. Um, so one dropper is, for me, is a nice amount of flavor. But if you're a flavor hound like my husband, you can't even see through his water. He uses so much, ugh, you almost have to chew it. But <laughs> you, uh, just a little is fine and just maybe just a little flavor. But use it as often as you want. That's so funny. Alan is saying that you can't, definitely can't use too much pure, pure inventions, but maybe too much tequila. That yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Alan, they don't call me tequila for nothing, you know? Pew, pew, pew. So um, awesome. Well, if anyone has more questions for Donna, she can answer them after um, our Sparty here. We'll have a uh, question and answer uh, section. But uh, thank you so much, Donna, and cheers to all of you. We're gonna go ahead and get our self-care ritual started as well. So our next stage beautification process is our Epicurean Chai Soy Mask, which I'm super excited to introduce Heidi. Hey, Heidi, say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, so Heidi is the VP of Marketing at Epicurean, and um, I've actually seen Epicurean at tons of spas, so I've been familiar with this brand for a long time. Um, but it is an anti-aging natural brand. Um, so Heidi, without further ado, would you mind telling us a little bit about what we're doing today, how we're doing it, and what is this delicious looking product? Absolutely. I first wanna say thank you so much for having us. Um, like Kayla said, my name is Heidi. I've been with Epicurean for about three years. And I was trying to think of how I would introduce Epicurean and myself for this. And I thought of something that's so simple, but something that I don't say enough. It's, I work for a company that makes things, makes products that make people feel good. You know, what a wonderful thing that all of us can say. And um, I think everyone on this call Zoom meeting can agree that we all need a little bit more love right now. A little bit of self-care goes a long way. So I'm super proud to be here to talk to you about one of our masks. Um, Epicurean is a skincare company, like Kayla said. We are a spa and wellness brand. We offer professional and retail products. Um, and again, we just try to make people feel good. It's in our um, mission statement. It's in everything we do. So I will get started by talking to you about our chai soy mud masks. The reason I chose this mask is because I think it does it all. It's something that everyone can use. It makes you feel like you've really done something for yourself after the treatment. Um, sometimes I'll put a mask on uh, for certain reasons, like, oh, I, I got too much sun or I'm certainly dehydrated, so I'll put on a hydrating mask. Um, those are always good. This is something that does hydrating. It actually helps purify your skin and it balances your oil production. So I think it's a great works for everybody. It's actually a giftable item that I give a lot of my friends when I don't know exactly what their skin type is, or maybe say I meet with an editor and I, uh, it's over the phone or on email and I don't know what their skin type is. I want to give them something that feels effective, um, isn't too harsh, but after you wash it off, you really feel like you've done something good for yourself. So without further ado, the chai soy mud mask. So I want to do two kind of housekeeping things with you first. You want to start with a clean face. I know that that went out in the Zoom evite, so everyone should have a clean face. I want you to know we're going to put this on, but we're not going to take it off. So I'm not going to have you run to your restroom or, you know, splash some water on your face after 20 minutes. This is a mask that can stay on longer, and it's really going to, um, it's going to dry up like a very nice green mud, and after the hair mask, I think it will be a nice way for us to kind of remove both products. So I'm going to get started. There's multiple ways to put on a mask, right? I mean, it's really about what your preference is. You can use your fingers. You could use a fan brush with a little bowl. Um, whatever you have in front of you is great. If you want to wear a headband or something to pull your hair back, my hair is, you know, halfway wet because I'm getting ready and excited for the hair mask coming up. But I will put this on just because I feel like I'm in a spa. and who doesn't want to feel like they're at a spa? So, <laughs> so I'm going to get started 
just for fun, I'm going to show you both ways that you can put this on um, that are kind of the most universal at home, which would be with a fan brush or with your fingers. So let's everybody kind of grab maybe a tablespoon or two. You can put more on if you need it, but let's just slowly start putting it on, avoiding getting too close to our eyes, but you know, close enough that you can tighten up some of these little crow's feet that I have going at the ripe age of 40. Um, so I like to put it on with the fan brush because I think it feels a little bit more luxurious, but I find that I can't neatly put it on my entire face that way because I am not an esthetician. I am just a professional uh, face mask at home girl. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting this on. Try to get your whole face, you know, you wanna remember that this is gonna remo remove impurities. It's gonna help with that oil production, but it's also super sensitive if you have dry skin. Um, so here we go. I'm pretty much covered, but I'm gonna finish up with my fingers. I'm gonna get a little bit more here. I think this color is so pretty too. It's also one of the reasons that I like to gift it or um, thought it would be fun to do in this Zoom meeting because you can really see what a neat color these ultramarines give this, this clay mask. Um, like I mentioned before, this is a mask that's an amazing mix of different benefits and ingredients. So I wanna talk a little bit about those while we're finishing up, making sure that we have it evenly on our face. Um, so like I said, the color comes from ultramarines. That is a natural colorant, which has, um, of course, is, is from the um, marine environment, which is wonderful as well, something that Epicurean takes very seriously. Um, it has skin soothers. So sometimes you get a mud mask that's so drying that it might, might not be good for every skin type, right? This actually has a really soothing clay in it called kaolin clay and mixed with the bentonite clay, it helps pull everything out. Um, it absorbs the oils, but isn't over, overly drying, which is wonderful. Um, it also has some really great antioxidants that include green tea extract, um, like, like Jana was talking about in her product, ginger root extract, which is where you get some of the smell, right? Um, the smell, I should say, comes mostly from ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Um, and the ginger root extract is one of the antioxidants as well. Um, the clays are the mattifiers. The skin soothers are things like the licorice root extract, uh, calendula, calendula flower extract. And um, you'll feel, I don't know how you all your skin is, but I, I tend to feel a slight spice, like a, a, just a slight tingle. And I think it depends on how dry you happen to be. It goes away very quickly if you do feel that. I just love personally the feeling of the clay mask, the smell of it. And as it starts to dry, you're just gonna feel your face tighten up a bit. Um, again, not too tight. I am very well known to put something like this on and walk around and finish my laundry or um, go and unload the dishwasher. Right? I am a mom with two young kids, so I'm super good at multitasking. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is kind of what you want it to look like. I'll, you can even it out a little bit more if you like, but we're gonna get a really nice mask today since we have so much time to let it dry. So make sure you get all those little um, nooks and crannies and you should be feeling really good right about now as it's starting to just starting to dry. Um, one thing I thought I might mention too that I like about this mask is I like to get creative and say that I feel, maybe I've been at the beach. I live in Southern California um, by the Epicurean headquarters. And maybe I've been at the beach and I've had a lot of sunscreen on, I'm obviously very fair. Um, or I've just had a hot and humid day. I might wanna put this in my T-zone and then use a hydrating mask around in other places. Epicurean has lots of retail masks. Um, I often will put the hydrating mineral mask on my cheeks and around my forehead and, and down below and on my neck and decollete. And then maybe use this to remove any impurities and oils that I tend to get on my nose and T-zone. So that's something kind of fun. Um, two other things that I brought that I thought would be just nice because 
we're all looking for a couple of minutes of relaxation. We're all in this business because we like to feel good and make people feel good. So these are little fun at home tools. You know, I have a jade roller, um, a gua sha. Obviously, I think this is dried too much to do any of these, but this always feels really good for me under my eyes. So I'll put a mask on, I get really bad allergies and I'll just roll and kind of help reduce the swelling and kind of push any of those impurities out. So this is a fun little thing to add on as well. Um, and other than that, I think I have shown you guys my best attempt at putting on a face mask. Um, thank you so much for having Epicurean. Uh, we love Live Love Spa and are absolutely thrilled to be doing this with everybody. And I, um, you actually did have a question uh, that I think we should probably answer. Is, is, is it, could you ever leave this on too long? Is there like an ideal time frame that we should? So the ideal, great question, great question. The ideal time frame, it usually dries at about 20 minutes. This isn't one that's going to dry in five minutes that some of the clay masks, they dry very quickly and tend to pull out a lot of oil, which is good for some people, but not everyone. Um, this one I've left on because I've forgotten and then maybe continued doing a chore around the house. And I'd say I've had it on for 45 minutes, an hour, and it's fine. I think you don't want to leave it on. You, your goal should be around 20 to 30 minutes because you don't want to over dry. I don't feel that when I, re I have sensitive to normal skin and I don't feel that I was over dried out when I forgot to leave it on. But 20 minutes, 20, 30 is ideal. Amazing, amazing. Well, and again, thank you so much, Heidi. Um, it, you're getting a lot of comments, people saying that it smells really good and I yes, cannot help but agree. Good. I was putting yeah. it on, like, give me, I just, I also want this in a beverage. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Like it is, we got a, a tasty beverage thing going on so far in this <laughs> party. <Wonderful. laughs> um, well, thank you, thank you, Heidi. And um, we, is everyone feeling good, feeling like fabulous in their green mask. Give me a little like jazz hands if you're if you're loving it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are going to move on to the next stage in our self care ritual here, and that is with save me from. So Madison is actually going to be guiding us through this particular save me from product, which is called Product Overload. But they actually have a ton of um, very custom. Uh, hair masks, and I would love for you to tell us about that, and also tell us about these fabulous little uh, headbands slash wraps that we got, and your, you know, Save Your Roots campaign. So take it away, Madison. Hey, everyone. I'm really excited to do this. Um, the one you guys all should have is this Save Me From Product Overload. It's one of six products that we have that are damage specific. And um, part of the reason why we chose this one is because this one you do for up to 30 minutes. All of, I kind of feel like I look like the Wicked Witch of the West. Should I be putting <laughs> But But it feels so good that I will gladly be the Wicked Witch of the West for a little while. But anyway, um, <laughs> but I also thought it was kind of cool that we ended up with this. I got a lot of brightness here, sorry. Um, with our green product overload. Oh my gosh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I haven't had enough Zoom meetings, I guess. <laughs> um, so uh, part of the reason why uh, we chose it was because this one you leave on for up to 30 minutes. Um, all of our products, typically you start at the tips and then you work your way up to the roots. This one, however, we're gonna start at your roots. This one is our most detoxifying one. So I wanna have you open it up, open up your little jar here, take off the disc. You can see that. Okay, so I'm sure many of you are like, oh my gosh, it's black. I promise we have never had anyone complain about it staining their hair, um, your fingers, nothing like that. Um, and then if you give it a little smell and then you kind of like smell, you're like, okay, I smell the chai and I smell maple, right? <laughs> you're like ready to go start making waffles. But this one, the reason why it has that mapley um, scent underneath is um, because of the fenugreek that's in it. So. Um, 
to start off, you want to put a little bit on your fingers like this. And then I, if you don't have some water, you might want some water, but our products are about five times more potent than a typical hair mask. So you're going to want um, to have a little bit of water for spreadability, especially for people who have thicker hair and longer hair. Um, so I usually put a little bit of water on mine also, and I kind of just spread it through my hands like this, maybe get a little tiny bit more. Okay. And then I start just right here at the roots and you're going to feel a little bit of tingly warming feeling. And that's because our product also contains, um, black kaolin, just like the Epicurean product. Um, and it also has charcoal. And so that's going to be a lot of that um, detoxifying um, kaolin feeling um, and charcoal feeling. It's just absorbing all of, so this is designed for product buildup. I don't know if you've ever seen those, um, those videos of people who are stripping silicones from their hair, um, but that's kind of the basis of what, what we chose making this product um, for was to kind of just get rid of and slough off all of that um, product buildup that's damaging the cuticle of your hair and exposing the cortex. Um, but so I don't use a lot of products in my hair. In fact, sometimes I haven't used products in my hair for like months and I do get greasy roots. And this is absolutely perfect for balancing the microbiome. Um, it helps to balance it enough so that you can have your natural oils, but it will absorb the excess oils. Okay. And then once you kind of get cover your roots, and then I also kind of get to the back of my head like this as much as I can. Um, then you just kind of pull the rest of it out through your hair, right? Whatever excess. And if you want to add a little bit more, you can. And just kind of see, I have blonde hair and you can't really even see it. It does kind of leave a matted look um, if you use it as a leave-in. Typically what we recommend is to use this one as a pre-shampoo. Um, but some people do like to, when I had short, short hair. So before I started working at Save Me From, I had short, short hair. And that's because I had had my first child and I was totally convinced that I would never, ever be able to grow my hair out again. And because it would just grow out and break off all the time. And April introduced me to her products and I started using them. And I was just so happy that I could grow my hair out again because now it's so healthy and I can still style it and I can do all the things that I love with my hair and diet and still be able to um, grow my hair out. So um, I use this one about once a month for my hair because I usually just use it for as a detox. But um, if you are someone who uses a lot of product, you might want to use it once a week, a um, couple times a week, kind of depends on, on your amount of use. Um, let me just set this over here really quick. So the nice, another nice thing about this one is it contains hyaluronic acid. Um, so while you have it detoxifying and kind of stripping off all those excess oils and the excess product, you also have the hyaluronic acid that's kind of giving it all of that moisture that you, your hair still really needs. So even at the end of doing this, you're still going to end up with nice hydrated moisturized hair. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to use your bandana, your boho. There's, we call these different things, boho headband, bandana hair cap. I really like to do mine as the pirate rag. So I turn it inside out like this. And then I just kind of put my hands through it like this. And then I grab on opposite sides and just like pull it through. And then I just pull it to one side. So like if you want it, on, if you like the black color on your head or if you like the white color, I just kind of randomize it for myself. Um, especially for this one, since it's so root concentrated, I kind of just put it over my roots like this and just leave the rest of my hair down. When I'm doing an overnight treatment, so our other products, 
I'm going to show you. Um, our other products are all typically overnight treatments. You can kind of use them. There's actually nine different ways you could use them, but we usually recommend that you start as an overnight treatment. And um, so like for this one, I'm not sure what you're wanting to see again. Do you want to see how I did this again? Really quick. So for the overnight treatments, um, what I do is I will um, just tie, what I do is I tie mine on one end like this when it's inside out. Okay, and then I put it on just like a hair, like a head. I take my hair and I put it up and I put it on just like a, like a hat, kind of. There are so many other ways to do this. You can actually, this is called a who rag, H-O-O-R-A-G, and you can look them up on YouTube and they have all the different ways that you can um, create these into different like hats and different ways of wearing it. This is the way that I do it when I'm wearing an overnight treatment. Um, and then with our overnight treatments, as with this one, when you're done doing it, you wash and condition just as you normally would. This isn't like a deep conditioner. Um, this is a hair repair treatment. So you're repairing your hair. So it's gonna go straight to the cortex of your hair, rebuild broken bonds, go to the um, cell membrane complex, add the moisture and the hydration, and then lay down the cuticle on the top for the shine, the manageability, the bounce, and all of that that you're looking for. And so um, once it's had some time to do all of that, then you can wash and condition and it will just kind of get off that excess um, uh, product that you that your hair didn't need at the time. So we recommend three overnight treatments with our products. This one, um, you can do however many times you want. You're going to get the, the extra benefit from it no matter um, how many times you do it. So again, the other way that I like to do it in case you guys were wondering, um, and this is the other thing that we have going with our bandanas right now is um, if you send us your mailing address, we will send you one of, you already have them, but if you know of anybody who's interested, we will send you one of these. And um, right now we're doing a hashtag save your roots campaign so that when the quarantine is over, we're saying that you're saving your hair and your roots for your um, hairstylist. So you're not gonna do any quarantine bangs, you're not going to go buy the box dye and start doing your roots so that your hairdresser can be mad at you when you finally go to have them correct it. You are just going to save your roots. And so we're sending people these headbands to wear while they um, wait to kind of cover up your roots and look stylish while you wait. And for, as you know, April's mission and the company's mission is also suicide prevention. And I should mention this. So, um, oh, it, you can you can just send us your um, DM us your on our Instagram or somewhere like email us your address if you want one of these. Um, so I am also a licensed therapist, and I am very passionate about this suicide prevention um, mission of our company because then um, I think about times like now where springtime is the 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 highest rate of suicides in during the whole year. And, and then on top of that, we have social isolation. And so some numbers have say, said that like up to 300% um, more suicides are occurring now than, than were before. And so for everyone who like posts a photo of them wearing their headband saying that they're saving their roots, we will donate an extra dollar. Right now we already donate 10% of our net income. But on top of that, another dollar for people who post about our cause. Um, that way, um, we're using it for our mission, but then we're also using it to support hairstylists. So yeah, I just want to show you one more thing really quick. Um, what you guys have are the minis. This is what our full size looks like. And I just wanted to show you because I love the packaging so much. April did such an awesome job on it and she has won awards for it. That's how awesome this packaging is. Basically, you're just, um, when you get one, you're gonna tear away the damage. You're gonna pull this off. Is this not the coolest unboxing you've ever seen in your life? 
and it just like puts them all. I love April so much. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> but <laughs> then you take this off and then you take it out and then you pop the top. Okay, and it has an airless pump. And um, which you guys probably know more benefits than I do about the airless pump. But one of the nice things about the airless pump is you get just the right amount. I just did it the wrong way. Don't do it that way. Um, you want to just kind of like, you want to have it straight up when you do that. But um, to get just the right amount when you're using it in your hair. And then um, especially like when you're using it for a spa, when because we get really heavy handed when you're using it in the back bar of a spa, you kind of just like dunk your hands in and start putting it in people's hair. But the nice thing about this is it gives you just the right amount and it's very potent um, and they are layerable. You can use more than one mask at a time. So um, with it, you can, um, oh yeah, the other nice thing about the airless pump is it helps us prevent using um, a bunch of chemicals for, as preservatives because it has like a very limited amount of oxygen that can get inside. Um, and then it keeps the potency of the product, like I said, so you don't have to um, be using a ton of it because it's not mostly water, it's mostly active ingredients. Um, so for the one that we have that is an airless pump is should we use it in a certain amount of time? Um, this one's not an airless pump. This one's a jar. And um, you'll probably, depending on how much hair you have and how long it is and how many treatments, I guess you're willing to do, um, you'll get probably, I get like five probably out of this okay. one. Um, but some people will get maybe like two to three. So you, it, I mean, the shelf life is, I don't, I can't, I can't speak for the shelf life. You'll probably use it, to be honest, before. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's, the mini one is kind of more intended for travel and um, sampling. So that's why we have this hair to spare kit. And um, that's why it has all of them. You can give them all a try, decide which one you like as like a full size. And um, hopefully you'll find a few that you like because I I prefer the hair to spare kit. I use all of them for everything. <laughs> so I'm like <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, well, thank you so much. I'm seeing in the gallery chat right now that everyone is looking fabulous. Um, some of you guys definitely knew how to do this better than me. Um, some of you guys are like, oh, I've been being boho chic for years, and I'm like kind of working this alien vibe right now. I mean, I'm into it. I mean, tell me I'm not working this alien vibe, you know? Um, so thank you so, so much, Madison, and and save me from it. April's in this call, too, if you want to say hey. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you guys, it is uh, save me from USA if you want to get involved with the Save Your Roots campaign, so definitely do that. Uh, but I would like to take this moment, since all of us are looking better than ever, to take a quick selfie, if you guys don't mind. So if you could, um, again, don't hold your drink over your computer, but grab your Pure Imagines cocktail and now that we're all made up, let's go ahead and take a quick selfie. Hold on, gotta get my view going. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys look so cute. Selfie time. And so if you guys, we got all to post these later and tag each other so we can put it on our stories because this Kayla, is Kayla, can we do it's one amazing. for the, can we do one for the whole group? Oh, group selfie all together. So everyone at your cameras, uh, do a little, do a little hi. Cheers. One, two, three.